Welcome back to the channel everyone, and today's video is going to be another Minecraft snapshot, and this snapshot is 20w13a, and finally back to the channel. Sorry guys, um, if any of the people are, that are subscribed to me is watching, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in almost six days, just vanished like that. Well, if you guys are wondering, my uh, computer is a potato, alright? I like literally took a potato out of a potato bag put a whole bunch of cords into it and just start recording with it all right or start using it to uh for a channel so um i've been having some uh, computer problems lately and i'm just you know it's it's mostly the ram my ram only it's only giving me three gigabytes even though it should be giving me eight and i've tried everything on the computer i've tried everything in the bios options i've tried everything so something tells me my RAM is going bad, and just the stick itself. I'm talking about like the actual module, uh, modular, 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 mod, um, the actual RAM stick itself is probably going bad. So uh, I will be probably upgrading that. I'm, I, got, I mean, not even probably. I'm going to be upgrading my whole computer to uh, get some nice recordings for you guys because I do need a lot of RAM if it's going to be if I'm going to be recording with things. So getting into the snapshot, um, as you guys can say. So well. And when I get, when I do upgrade my computer, it is going to be <laughs> 64 gigabytes of RAM. Everybody says you don't need that, but what I, what I do with the computer, I kind of do. So, anyways, getting on with the snapshot here. This is the new mob. It's pretty cool. Look at it. it's the Strider, and um, they do have little. They have baby Striders too. Look at, look, it's following. <laughs> it's following the big one, and I, um, so yeah, they only spawn on lava pools right here, and this one spawned on top of this one, which I think is uh, pretty awesome. I I I don't know. It's I think it's cool. You can also ride them too. They're like pigs uh, with a saddle on them. So we'll get into that a little bit later. I have something to uh, show you right here. So if you um so if you go to some soul soil right here, and you go and. Uh, break it like you do a normal cobblestone generator you guys can probably go uh, know where i'm going with this because if you guys probably seen any other youtuber that does this you guys already know so if you put lava right here and put blue ice on this side right here you can make a basalt generator and it does not consume any of them it's almost like a cobblestone generator uh you take regular ice and regular lava or water and lava usually if you're in a sky block it'd be ice um, and you'd be able to make a cobblestone generator, but this is the same thing, but with, um, basalt, I uh, did not mean to do that. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know what you guys, what you guys are going to use it for. Uh, let's hope basalt has an actual better use than just smelt it in the furnace. Uh, if you guys seen that last video, or if you guys seen any other video of a YouTuber. But, that's what this one does. That's what that's going to be doing. So... We'll get on to the strider. Now we have we have a, we have a lot to go through. Well, not really too much. We have uh, we have we have enough. So grab the strider. Grab everything that's inside this um, chest. We'll just go ahead and put those in there. Grab everything inside this chest. When you put something on something, when you put the strider on on something that is not lava, they shiver. <laughs> I think it's funny. Uh, look at it. It's like cold and sad, but they're also sad on lava too. But um, they don't really have a happy face. I wouldn't. I would imagine living in the Nether or being a Nether mob, you wouldn't be very happy. With that being said, um, they have little baby ones. You can make baby ones, and also you, you can. If I spawn another one, that's not a baby. I don't, you can breed the Strider with fungus right here. Nice warped fungus. I'm not sure if you can use the red fungus. I, I don't know. I'm in a red biome uh, for the first time. Uh, the crimson biome. Uh, this is kind of funny because you never find these ones. It's always the warped. I'm always inside the warped. Anyways, but yeah, that's the Strider. You could put if you put um, a saddle on them. You can't really do anything, so that means you're gonna have to dismount. All right. So when you need to do a carrot with a stick option, I got this wrong only for one reason. It's in this sort of direction, which I should have known that carrot with a stick. But I don't craft carrot with sticks very often on this game. So you can grab that and. Um, they walk straight to the lava by themselves. That's pretty cool. And now you have this. A nice... W and actually, the lava boat 
which is pretty cool. <laughs> I think it's, I think, no, 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 no he's walking on top of their babies. Uh, I'm pretty, I'm not sure, there was a way you can, cr um, you can make the pig faster, but this is actually pretty, oh, he's running, damn, that is crazy. Now if you need to get, uh, um, you need to go towards and get in the nether, that's, that's pretty cool. Look at, they're walking, look, this, uh, this is a, I, I don't know. This is like a lava boat now. Don't need a, don't need those lava boat mods. You know the obsidian boat mod. You don't need that no more. You got the Strider in this next update, which is your now your lava boat, which is pretty cool. I like that. That is that adds into addition to the game because everybody everybody knows when you don't have a, a way to walk past the lava, you got to make your bridge all across the lava and that's how that works and sometimes yeah skip and you sink and you die so well nice addition to 1.16 i think i like it it's pretty cool oh there's also another thing too about them uh you can actually lead them you can put a uh, uh, lead them well like what i just said you can lead them and attach them to a fence post so if you want them to stay by the area and you go on and do your thing, and you want to walk, and uh, you have your fungus on a stick, and you want to go back, there you go. You have it. Anyways, but yeah, you can uh, lead it and post it onto a fence post in the nether, so you can keep it where, you, where it's at, or keep the strider where you had it, and then when you're on your way back, you can cross the lava that you need to cross, and I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. I've never seen these guys before. That's kind of funny. They have bows. No, nah, Wow. Big, big nether update. All right. So we have a new th uh, thing. This, um, the load block, I think it's called. I'm not sure. But it takes eight chiseled stone bricks and netherite ingot. You go and craft it. This is going to be right. I know that. Load stone block, like, like I was. So you guys usually have a compass inside the nether. You very well know it's not going to work inside the nether. It's going crazy. It's going really crazy. So, if you guys... Actually, this is actually a really helpful block. I, I like this block a lot. This this block is very helpful. So, when you go to the nether and you need, and you need to find your portal again and, you're, and you lost your portal, put a lodestone by it. Click right to the lodestone. It turns it into an enchanted compass for some reason. A lodestone compass, maybe that's why. And um, it points to the direction of the lodestone so if you put this by your portal in the nether you can find your portal you can put it by your house in the overworld you'll find it you'll find your house in the overworld so it's basically like your tell your your warp mod in minecraft but you're not warping you have to walk so it, it's showing you where the lodestone is right where the lodestone is. It's almost like it's showing you where your spawn point is, but you can put this inside uh, by, by your house or inside your house. It'll show you where your house is or by your portal or whatever have you. You can find what you're looking for. So I think it's pretty cool. I think it's an addition. And what? Do you see what's happening? That is insane. That's something new I've never seen. Yeah, well, if you ever do that and your uh, lodestone compass goes really crazy, just put it back and re-click it. it <laughs> you'll get it back. All right, so, well, that's the lodestone. That's the strider, and that's the 1.16 snapshot of uh, 20W13A. Uh, there will be another one Wednesday. I know I keep, I, I'm, I'm late. When I don't make them Wednesday. Uh, I don't know why I don't make them Wednesday, but um, sorry for not being around on my channel for a little bit. So, that is the snapshot, guys. Hope you guys are excited for this this 1.16 update because I know I am. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, adding some cool things into the into the game. I think it's pretty cool. The lodestone is what I'm uh, what is awesome. Also, there's the the, the respawn anchor. I think the respawn anchor is also going to be helpful too. So everything is going to be helpful in this update, especially the strider going. The strider is going to be really helpful going towards going across nether uh, lava pools or just going across the lava altogether. Say if the stronghold, stronghold, I keep calling it a stronghold. Nether fortress is like in the middle of the, in the middle of like the lava and you can't get to it. Well, the strider is going to be a helpful, 
helpful, helpful mob just to get to it. So I think it's pretty cool. So that is it, everybody. Hope you guys are excited for this. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I am going to be signing off. So hopefully I can make um, another video pretty soon. I probably should be able to make one tomorrow. I should be able to come back to making them every day like I used to. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.